Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another amazing high growth oil that you can use to grow your bald spots, to thicken your hair, and to grow your hair nice and fast. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and all of the ingredients that you need for today's recipe. Now it is not a lot of ingredients but I do use some towards the end that you definitely want to know about. So I'll definitely suggest that you stick around till the end of the video. Now let's hop right into it guys. So we are going to need some fenugreek seeds so these are my fenugreek seeds they're not blended but if you have the fenugreek powder then that's absolutely fine to use um but if you have the seeds just like i have here we're going to go ahead and blend this later on so i'm just adding it to my blender um that i'm going to use to blend now as long as you have the powder guys and you're sure is 100 percent i would definitely suggest that you use it but if you're not sure get the seeds and grind it yourself now we're going to go in with some black seeds as well. So black seeds, again, these are not blended, but I'm going to go ahead and blend it. Again, if you have the powder, it's exactly the same, just like the fenugreek one. So you just go ahead and use it. So I'm going to put that in the same blender in which I have my fenugreek seeds. Now these two seeds are literally amazing when it comes to hair growth. I'll just tell you a bit more about fenugreek first. So fenugreek helps to prevent hair loss. It contains something called lecithin which acts as a natural emollient that conditions and moisturizes your scalp and, um, and your hair in general. It revives damaged hair, it fights dandruff, it controls scalp inflammation, which is really really important when it comes to promoting hair growth and just healthy hair growth in general you do you do need a healthy scalp now it also adds shine and soft texture to the hair it prevents premature grain now black seeds on the other hand is also really good when it comes to hair growth as well because it does help maintaining you know a healthy scalp and treats issues like downdraft, keeping your hair nice and moisturized. And in addition to that, it also does help to stimulate hair growth. So after I blended it, guys, this is what it looks like. It is a powder. So I'm just gonna pop this in this little container, which I'm gonna use to keep because I will not be using everything today. So if you grinded yours just like mine, guys, keep it somewhere nice, nice and warm and essentially you can use it for the future so for today's recipe we are only going to need about two tablespoons of these two seeds blended together so i'm just sort of adding that to my uh, little bowl here and i'm going to move on to the next step Now we are going to go in with our next ingredient guys which will be some cloves. So again this is clove powder. Um, I grinded you know whole cloves sometime in the past and I'm just sort of using it. But if you have the powder just like I have here it's fine. But if you don't then go ahead and grind the three together. So I added about I would say a teaspoon of that. Now I'm going to go in next with some rapeseed oil. Now in case you're living in the UK guys, I get this from Aldi. But you can find it in most grocery stores. And if you want to buy it, do make sure that you check that it is cold press. Now I added about 6 tablespoons of this. But I would suggest that you alter the quantities guys based on how much you're making. So if you have used more of the seeds then obviously use a bit more of the oil. Now I'm going to go in as well with some coconut oil. Now this is completely optional. You don't have to use coconut oil guys especially if you're allergic to it. Uh, but if you're not please use it in this recipe. So for this I'm adding about 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. Now we are going to go ahead and do the double boiler method um, just to infuse the oils really well. So for this you are going to put water in a little pan and just pop it on the stove and then place your bowl in it and just allow the coconut oil to melt and sort of mix well with the whole thing. Now this shouldn't take too long to do so it should take about 5 to 10 minutes essentially. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys once that's all done you just want to take it off the stove and just allow it to cool down and then we're going to go ahead and strain it now because of the powders that we've got in this you are going to need something that has really really fine holes so something like a coffee filter will be absolutely fine um, I will be using again my same kitchen paper towel and it just does an amazing job anyways so I'm so straining it directly into the jar in which I'm going to use to keep my oil it just saves me having to transfer it later on so essentially you just want to pour it on there and just allow it to gradually sieve on its own if you want to or if you're in a hurry like me you just want to go ahead and squeeze it really gently just make sure you don't rip your paper because essentially you have to start over again guys so this is what my oil looks like you can see it's really nice and clean and I haven't got any sort of debris inside so yeah really really good the paper towel does an amazing job now we're gonna go in with some Jamaican black castor oil now black castor oil is also really good when it comes to hair growth it does help to stimulate hair growth it does thicken the hair if you use it consistently and also it does help to sort of seal the moisture in your hair so really really good to have in a sort of hag of oil now I'm using about one tablespoon but feel free to use more if you want to guys it's absolutely fine now castor oil has been used for many years to regrow bald spots and lots of people swear by it and I do swear by this as well so it's definitely worth having in your oil now i'm also using some essential oils now this is quite important because they help increase the blood flow to the scalp and in turn help in stimulating hair growth so i'm using peppermint and tea tree essential oils in addition to what i've just mentioned tea tree essential oil also helps in keeping the bacteria away from your scalp which is really really good when it comes to promoting a healthy scalp in general which is just good environment for your hair to grow from so essentially mix everything together and then that's it you're good and ready to go so that's our oil nice and ready extremely potent very easy to make so i do hope that you go ahead and try this out and if you do guys let me know in the comment sections down below what your experience was now i suggest you stick with me because I'm going to share with you how you can use this to um, get maximum results. So I'm starting here on um, pretty much clean hair and somewhat detangled. Now you don't necessarily have to have your hair in the same state but the most important thing is that your scalp is clean because the last thing that you want guys is to apply oil on top of build up or dirt and all of that stuff because it's not really going to do what it's meant to do so make sure that your scalp is nice and clean and if you do need to shampoo your hair please go ahead and do that so essentially what you need to do is take the oil and just apply to your scalp now if you have an applicator bottle this will make the process a little bit easier um, the thing sometimes with an applicator bottle is that sometimes you tend to use more than you actually need to um, but yeah, applicator bottles will be absolutely fine for this as well. So you just want to go ahead and work the oil through your scalp. Now, if you have, you know, bald spots or let's say you've lost your edges and you're trying to regrow them, um, then essentially just apply to that area and essentially make sure that you massage afterwards. It is super, super important to massage this to your scalp. Now, you'll later on see me... Um, do this sometime down the video 
um, but yeah just make sure you scalp you scalp massage as well you can invest in a scalp massaging brush if you want to or you can use your fingers it just does the exact same job to be honest but yeah it's entirely up to you really so I know somebody's gonna ask how many times a week should I use this now I would say twice a week as a minimum is a good way to start now the thing with any type of treatment or any type of regimen that you have you have to be consistent guys consistency is what brings about results now if you're not consistent and you're using it on and off on and off on and off you are not going to see results so you have to be pretty consistent with whatever you're doing and then i promise you guys your hair will most definitely grow now if you have you know alopecia and you've tried different stuff and it just doesn't work please please go and check with your doctor some types of alopecia do need medical attention so i'll suggest that you do uh, go ahead and check that out so essentially as you can see here i'm just massaging my scalp and after massaging guys i'm just going to go ahead and style my hair now you do not have to wash this out of your hair um that's if you want to guys but you can shampoo it as well so it's entirely up to you if you are going to shampoo it leave it for about two hours and then go ahead and shampoo but you can also leave it in so this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video if you made it to this point of the video and you still haven't thumbs up please go ahead and give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already leave me a comment down below i do read them all if you have any questions i'm always in my comment section so i will try my best to answer them and also share it with somebody you know could learn from this and i'll catch you in my next video so thanks so much for watching guys until next time bye